Only 5,350 pounds, nicely half-ton towable little Gray Wolf rear kitchen cozy couples camper coming in on trade here at Halid RV. Might even work very well for folks who got something like a, say a, a big expedition. You don't necessarily need a pickup always to, to tow something this size. And inside here, this is a really interesting layout. I think it could work very nicely actually for more than uh, just couples. I think this is an interesting example of something that could be a very good single person kind of camper. There's not a lot of those out there. Uh, we'll see a single kind of rocking chair next to these windows in just a minute. But what's cool about this is that what this whole RV is basically, if you take the very popular 274 rear kitchen Cherokee and kind of squish it down a little bit, this is sort of the result. But you still have some decent guest capacity here, like for entertaining or sleeping over that dinette can fold down. You see the doors for, uh, you know, easy access to all the storage. All the counters, by the way, are a uh, sealed edge pressed membrane. So if you happen to spill a drink or something, you know, no big deal. Very nice if you do have friends, you're playing cards, horsing around, whatever. And this is maybe the most dedicated kitchen space I think I might have seen in a little camper, maybe ever. Uh, I, I'm actually surprised this layout didn't end up proving a little bit more popular just as a result because there's so many people that are always saying, man, I, you know, I'm looking for something with a lot of kitchen space, but I am trying to keep it as small light as possible. You know, I got a half ton, but I don't want to overdo it. That's really where this one comes in, I think. And I tell you, she definitely smells like mothballs. Previous owner must have, uh, they, you see mothballs and baking soda all over in the RV to kind of help. Uh, keep the, uh, you know, the critters out to keep the freshness level up, I suppose, when it was in storage. Entertainment center over there with that single rocking chair, man. It, it puts you right in front of that thing. And I do like it whenever they have like a shoe garage by the door. What's interesting here is this is like a smaller version of the 274 Cherokee rear kitchen. But the bathroom and the bedroom is something that they use all over the place. And where it's really common and really popular is in their smaller, shorter toy hauler uh, Gray Wolf models. This is a... Uh, Really, really similar to that, actually. Big medicine cabinet, large sink. And the corner shower there uh, with the skylight gives me enough room. I do need my head in the bubble, but it does give me enough room, um, you know, to be able to stand in there. The larger XL vent fan up here, uh, right on top of some decent linen space. And full admission, the RV needs a cleaning. It, it definitely, it needs a surface bath on the inside and out. And I have seen two window shades like this over here that are popped and need restrung. Uh, I, I'm not going to hide those things from you. That being said, like that's really the worst I've kind of found. I haven't really seen any other major, significant, noteworthy things in here that uh, I feel I need to report. Everything else looks pretty normal for a, a pre-owned RV. But again, I, I think the worst I can say is that it needs a bath and it needs a couple shades restrung. If, if that's worse we're saying, I, I think we're doing all right. And as long as we're looking at it. They... Uh, they popped this center kind of panel out. The panel actually is up in here. I don't know why they did it. Maybe they preferred that for easy access. Maybe they prefer to just use that as like a phone shelf. I I'm not sure. Either way, I'm just letting you know what the story is so that, you know, you can form your own opinions, I guess. I just hope you appreciate the honesty and the candor. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the exterior look of this thing. Although I did notice one thing, and it's just because I've, you know... So we've sold Cherokees and Grey Wolves here for so long. I don't know what, I don't know why, but that is not the original baggage door, but it's a factory baggage door. I, I don't know if maybe it got damaged and somebody found a, uh, a like size replacement. You know, like sometimes you'll see a vehicle with like a different color quarter panel or hood or something like that. That might be the, what the heck? You know, I had to go inside to grab something, a phone call real quick. And I came back, obviously I had the slide open, somebody closed the slide on me. They probably thought they were being helpful and didn't realize I was doing this. Oh, well, you know, if the worst problem we have at Halid RV is that someone's so helpful they're a pain in the neck, I think we're doing all right. Power awning, power tongue jack, power corner stabilizer jacks as well, which is nice. Gray Wolves also ride a little bit lower to the ground, a little bit lower head clearance, which is nice. Black flush and a full outside utility shower here, always some really handy points. Good looking aluminum wheels, got those little tire pressure indicators on them. Be careful with those though, make sure you flick them a couple times in case that little uh, dial inside that tells you if you, you, know, you do or don't have enough air pressure in there, make sure it doesn't get like stuck, that could theoretically happen. Walk on roof, camera ready. 
Uh, spare tire on the back looking pretty darn good here. And that's a 200 pound rated cargo rack, by the way, before the spare tire. So you got to kind of budget that a bit. But nice if you got some bicycles or, um, oh, what do I want to say, like a little portable generator. The worst I've been able to find outside here is that it needs a, a lens cover for the brake light. That's the worst I can come up with, guys. The tires look good. Everything else looks fine. Outside TV hookups under that power awning. Overall, looks pretty sharp. You ready to go camping? Give us a call. We'll get you rolling. Until then, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.